Now that we have power back, welcome back to A Thousand Days to Escape. I am back in this game yet again, and today I'm going to be jumping right back into what I was talking about in the previous episode for this game. All I'm really going to be trying to do is finding an alien civilization and uh, um, befriending them, because that's something you can do. I really don't know how I'm remotely supposed to do this. Am I just supposed to send regular humans over to them to try to um, communicate and whatnot? Um, I don't know, because previously in other episodes, like my first episode, and every time I've really played this game, um, I've only sent warriors over to alien populated planets on the game. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen. And if you can't tell already, my current strategy, I'm not sending any rockets to really close planets. Um, there we go. Yeah, if we send them to really far away planets, uh, we are going to get enemy people. Um, hostile population. So I'm going to send the atmosphere generator. Give it enough fuel to get over there. And let's see what happens if I just send people over there. Hopefully nothing too bad will happen to them. Enemy civilization won't revolt against the huge human population coming towards their planet. I hope. Let's give them like 200 million. Let's see how this goes. I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, I know if you send a minuscule amount of warriors to one planet, they will actually um, get defeated within battle. So that really doesn't work. That's not how you create a, um, a peace treaty and whatnot with the aliens. I'm just assuming right now that sending over just humans to it. Wait, did I actually do it already? A winning strategy sometimes necessitates sacrifice. Wait, wait, I... What? <laughs> you guys are reading this thing too. A winning strategy sometimes necessitates sacrifice. 200 million people sold to another civilization. Wait a minute, what? So if we just keep sending people over there, will we keep getting like reimbursed for the amount of people we send over there? I'm really confused as much as you guys are. Actually, we can only send 200, so it's going to take me a second to kick off a lot of these people. They didn't want to meet the alien civilization anyway, trust me. So, let's send another 200 million. Okay, I've got another idea of how to make a treaty with people. Um, this might seem really weird, but if we send one person to a planet, maybe then we can bring a cord, a peace treaty? So just, I guess, one million. So you're telling me I could just... Okay, so one thing I'd like to point out real quick is that um, every time I'm sending apparently 200 million people to this uh, alien civilization, I'm getting the 2,000 science points. But if we look over at the people saved, when you send them to a new planet that is uh, um, not hostile, if they don't... Um, perish or whatnot if they live on the planet then you get a certain amount of people saved so yes for every 1 million people that go to another civilization you get 10 science points but you're not able to I don't understand then how are we supposed to make a peace treaty with them is what I'm really interested in figuring out if we number them one to one aliens to humans here leave the same amount here let's see if that'll work i i don't know if that'll remotely work maybe we have to send some warriors as well um let's see if that works out we send 200 million people and then 40 warriors so I'm going to run out of money eventually. Well, I mean, uh, I am profiting off of people moving over to another civilization. This is a uh, 
touchy subject I've got myself into here. Um, yeah, well, I didn't expect to run into this on this episode. So I've sent over 200 million to the one planet right now and the, the 40 warriors. And the 40 warriors are currently fighting the aliens. So let's see if a combination of not enough warriors but people will help a peace treaty come about. Nope, fighting was lost. It just... Okay, I'm running out of ideas pretty quickly. Because we're down a lot of population. We haven't saved a single person. Investment in science research new peaks. Yesterday, science fiction becomes a reality today. So let's sell it to the alien civilization. We have more points. We still... Maybe after selling them some stuff, we can now send people over there, please? I don't think there's any way to make a peace treaty with them. It'd be weird if you could actually get more than uh, the 7 billion people you start with if you... Like, I don't want to say took over because that's kind of what I did with the military attack. Uh, winning strategy sometimes necessitates sacrifice. So I'm sending exactly enough warriors to beat this hostile civilization on this planet now. Filling it up with fuel, and then I'm gonna put some people on it. So maybe warriors can, like, force the aliens to, uh, you know, make a peace treaty or something. You know, have some, uh, military force on them. Pushes them to do... I, I think I'm trying to play around with a, uh, uh, I'm playing with fire, basically. I really don't know what I'm trying to do here. I mean, there isn't really anything else I can really do with the aliens around here. Aliens being either you can give them people from Earth, millions of people for in return research points, you can defeat them off their own planet, or yeah, there's nothing much else you can actually do with them, I don't think. So it looks like even though um, it said something about that, actually I'm going to quit the menu here real quick. Uh, about, uh, let's jump into this. Uh, Some planets are inhabited by alien civilizations to wage war or cooperate. It's up to you. What does it mean to cooperate though? That's the thing that I've been trying to work out in this video. Because if you can actually like work with them or something, I don't know. I've tried sending small amounts of forces that didn't work because the battle was just lost. I sent enough force to beat them and they just won the war. Um, what else did I do? I sent a lot of humans. I sent a small amount of humans. It doesn't seem like anything allows you to have the hostile enemies and humans coexist on the planet. It's either basically you don't deal with them, like you don't go to their planet or you fight them. That's the only two options you kind of have for the aliens at the moment. Of course, in a future update, that might change. So, of course, like a lot of my videos, if the game is updated in the future, this may not be what is going on. So, sadly, we cannot actually coexist with the aliens unless you basically just leave them alone, I guess. It's just like animals on Earth. If you leave them alone, for the most part, they'll leave you alone. It'd be a really interesting tactic if the aliens actually moved around in something, and that'd be a cool addition to the game in the future. I mean, then again, I'm just spouting off random ideas I've thought about right now for some future updates to the game. But anyways, it's a really cool game that I have played way too much already, and I'm really interested to play a little bit more in the future. So hopefully I will get some other ideas for the game, jump back into it, maybe a speedrun or something for the channel, put that up, or of course that live stream in the future might be coming if you guys really did like the first episode of this, because I haven't actually put the first episode out yet. As I've said, I've been playing it a lot. Anyways, enough of me rambling on about it. So of course, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay with a thousand days to escape and more of my content. But I've never been great. Goodbye, so people need me and I need to go.